So I've been running sample tank um, with my iPhone 4, but I updated it to iOS 7, and iOS 7 uh, accepts the camera connection kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an iPhone 4, uh, I, um, iPhone 4s running sample tank. I'm going to connect it. I have a vortex, a laser vortex, but you can use a different keyboard. And um, I'm going to plug it in. Now it's powering my vortex. And I'm going to switch. I'm going to go to uh, a different shot so you can see the phone. Okay, we're going to open sample tank. Okay, it says with the screen. And then we're going to, I'm going to pick, I have a preset 9. This is the default sounds. You can, you know, navigate to your sounds, whatever. I'm going to go to the preset. All the, all the F basically are house presets. And then when you go to, to, to navigate to the next screen, that's where you can save your old presets. I have a bunch of presets already made, but I'm going to make one from scratch. I'm going to go to 9, which I have that one, M. 10, 10 something, 972, okay, I go to 9, I press my first, my first thing, I don't want uh, drums, I'm going to put a bass, because what I want to do is a split, which is wanna, what I want to show, how you can split the keyboard, and you can have four sounds at the same time, I'm going to put a bass on the left hand, and three sounds on my right, so I'm going to pick this finger bass, I'm going to keep it, on channel on my part one, I'm gonna go to part channel one. Now I'm gonna change these other two parts, all, all, the, all these three parts, to channel two, channel two. They're all channel two. Now I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna pick another sound. This time I'm gonna pick an electric piano. I'll pick hard times. I'm gonna part again, uh, channel two. I'll pick. Um, and then this part I'm going to pick uh, an organ this chorus will be fine um, I have latency right now so that's what that sounds like there's no latency the reason I have latency right now is because I'm recording the video um, see so right now I have this piano the organ Together. And there's my bass. Go. Pick them all three. But I, I will play it without any latency in a little bit. But I'm doing the video. I'm going to go to this third one over here and I'm going to pick some strings. Dark strings. That should be fine. And let's go back to our parts from there. Now, over here, now as you load sounds, sample tag by default loads the sound with some pre recorded uh, phrases on the sequencer. You can turn them off right here. You go to the edit page, turn it off right there. Right there, I was in the hard times. I like to use rhythm number two has like a bit of an echo for the for the, for the keyboard I'm not sure if that sounds by itself right there edit turn that off and go over here that should be fine I'm gonna go back to the sounds the finger bass Together. Let's see. We could bring it. You also adjust the volume. So I'm going to go through here. I'm going to turn that off. Put sequence off. I'm going to go back here. Return it off on the piano. I'm going to go to the organ. Turn that off. And last but not least, I'm going to go to strings. Turn it off. And in the strings, I'm going to add rhythm number that, that, and now, 
let's see if we can close their new website for us just to change it. Oh, I guess it only it only has it on there. All right, so now with all my four fingers, I gotta pick all of it, and now we can pick all that. I'm bring the bass up a little bit. Sounds bass here. satisfied with your patch you can go over here click on it and keep it clicked till it lights it up again and then there it now I can go to my different patches oh that's because I'm gonna split them Just there, but when I go to nine, now I put it in the split mode. Well, there you have it. We're running an iPhone 
4S, my camera connection kit, the Vortex keyboard. You just need a keyboard that can split in songs with different MIDI channels. The software itself, the app itself, will not. But it's very easy. You, you get a keyboard. Most keyboard controllers will split with songs. When you assign one song to MIDI channel one, the other one to MIDI channel two, or you can if you can split it in more songs and you have different plans to run different samples, etc. Well, then there you have it. But it's great. It did not drop any notes. Um, you have a lot of control. I wish it had more effects uh, per part. But I mean, maybe you can run it through Audio Bus or something. I mean, for what it is, and taking into account that you're running four sounds at the same time with one split in a phone with great sounds and and you know your imagination is the limit I really really think this is a great software and I'm very happy that I can just throw my iPhone on, on my in my pocket and, and a small keyboard on my backpack and and I can do, you know, I can run a jam session or whatever. I don't know that I would use it like live as my main gear, but I mean, I can definitely write on it. And, and I guess, in fact, I already wrote a song that that I, I released. Um, I wrote it in, in Sample Tank with all the Miroslav uh, orchestra. It's a very orchestral kind of thing. And, and I use, uh, I did the whole thing on, on Sample Tank in uh, Multitrack DAW. I ended up redoing it on Logic and with better sounds and blah, 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 you know. But once I went back, after the recording was done, I released it and everything. One time I went back and I compared them back to back. And truly, there was not that much difference. I mean, there was a difference, obviously. But for to run a demo, I mean, this thing is amazing. Sample Tank iOS, I actually like Sample Tank iOS better than I like Sample Tank for, for the computer. Um, it's a great thing for 20 bucks you can't go wrong. You can get, uh, I think it's another 20 bucks for the extra uh, like the Miroslav Orchestra thing and I just got the Moog thing and, and it's amazing. Um, it's not very programmable but you have some some programmability on it. Sample Tank is awesome. Again, it runs on your phone. It's not just um, incarcerated on the iPad. You can run it on the iPad or you can run it on your phone. I plan to strap my phone uh, to my strap from the from the keyboard um, from the keyboard strap and then just boom, got it. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.